Oh, hello. Welcome back to our channel, channel Don't Mention the A Word. And uh, we can't go to holiday in a camper van driving in November because we need a car to holiday house in November is centre parks. Wednesday today. It is today, yes. We, we've looked at the weather forecast and rain, today. Rain, yeah. rain, and more rain. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday was all rain, all the weekend yeah. was rain, and tomorrow and Friday are going to be rain. Yeah, more rain. The only day is today. It's very windy. There could be a storm coming later. We're going to have a go at sorting out the front. I think you've just been watching us try and design it on the, <laughs> on the fly. <laughs> Yeah, it's all on the fly, isn't it? Everything's in my head, and then I just try and get it out and onto the van. And once I've got some kind it's of it's wet so far, isn't it? But fingers got crossed. Excellent, got an excellent skeleton at the moment. Yeah. Shooting with the sun right behind my shoulder is not the best thing, and I don't know how much you'll be able to see because it's quite bright as it reflects off the uh, van. But from that little time lapse I put in at the beginning, you can see I was working out lines and measurements and where I want to run so I've got a rough idea now of where I want to come to. Right, so it's demanded that he goes to the shop right now. So Shell's taken in the shop and actually cleaned off the edges because doing this from bit is definitely a two person job. So I'm just going to touch up some of the rust bits now with some of the rust things that are going to get covered in and that can be drying off. But it's not very exciting stuff. So we just marked this out and I used a compass. I'm just checking for symmetry now. I know I've got 100 at either end, there and here. And then what I'm doing is I'm measuring 300 mil back in, 300, and I'm just checking the symmetry of it there. So I know that 300 on that side, that's 155 there. And that's 150 there, so it's not quite symmetrical. So I'm going to push it down a bit and trace that line around and give myself the curve.
and mom is busy today. I've got my sunglasses on. Brian being forced. Look at this drill. Side strut, so this one's for this side, and I don't know how much you've seen, but I'm just making it on the on the go really. So I'm just working it into the shape and the size of it. I've got the angle there. I'm going to make a second one in a mirror image to sit on that side, and then I'll get them both fixed into place. You got me feeling good, like I'm drowning, drowning. strut on the front is in and it doesn't look like a lot's been done again today but got that cut and shaped and fitted and down and then this first strut is fitted I'm gonna fit the other one to the other side and then I'm gonna put two more in the middle and then that'll be the front then now at the top I've just glued and fixed for now and then I'll block on the inside. I'll block on the inside and glue and screw as well there but all the force here will be pressing against this timber frame here and, and this is solid as anything. I'll get on and see if I can get the other one on and them two cut before the rain comes before I finish tonight. I'm just using a force in a bit to recess in for the uh, coach bolt so the head won't be in the way. his go-kart we thought we'd leave Graham to it and uh, Maximus needed to get out and so did Freya
like a little block scribe to run that line in. Past nine again, up we go. Let's give it a look. There we are. The top's not cut and the sides are only cut rough and everything's gonna need sanding and filling and working back to nice lines as we go along uh, and blooming seagulls. Oi! <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why they're all here this year. Right, moody sky tonight, could be a storm coming. So yeah, um, another long day. And if tomorrow, if tomorrow it rains, I feel like I've got a good, uh, a good day in. Good morning, good morning, Friday morning, and there's a big orange ball in the sky. There's a little Maximus there. Then build the van. I am building the van. I'm going to do some work on the van. So yeah, we've got blue sky, some wafty clouds, some bigger clouds over there, but it says the sun's going to shine from now, which is about, what time are we? About 10 o'clock? Yeah. Okay. So the sun's going to shine from now till about six o'clock, it says. So I'm going to have a go. So this is where I left it. There he is. Wednesday. With his hood on. Okay. And you can see now. There we go. There's the line in the front. And yeah, I didn't really show you my workings out. Let's turn around. So what I was doing on the video earlier, on, on Wednesday, was I was just working out lines, and you should be able to see a bit better now, I've got some shade. So I worked out a line across this gutter rail here because I wanted it to follow on the, you know, where can we see? I wanted it to follow on the plane running up the side, so I'll run in and turn into that angle down that we created when we put the side struts in. And then I'll put some pieces in here now, you can see there. I'll fill out there and I'll seal them in, bond them and glue them um, and fix them down. But this, this is ridiculously solid again. I've gone probably way over the top of what was needed, but I'll put the plate on the outside now so you can see a bit better. From the front. So I've put the plate on the outside and what I've done is I've followed the line in the window. You can 
see down that line now how it follows up the gutter rail and then into the plane of the side that we created, that plane there. And the same on the other side, as symmetrical as possible, up the gutter rail, following that line, and then into the plane there. I've tried to keep the angle as close as I can to the van. So they obviously worked out the aerodynamics for a reason on the van. Um, so as you can see, the angle follows the windscreen line up and the roof line up as close as possible to keep that line. And if you look on the higher top vans, which aren't quite as high as this, um, they follow the same line as well. So the wind will deflect up there and run over there for the most part. But anything that catches here will just be pushed out and around. By the time there's a piece on there, I'm just going to glue some blocks in to carry that piece on there now and just some more corners. Not that they're going to move because on the inside, you can see I've got a plate on the inside here now. Maximus is the driver. Are you the driver? Yeah. yeah. I've got a plate on the inside here now and then I've bolted each support through and fixed it through. So the plate was uh, glue uh, adhesive sealant on both inside and out and then drilled and fixed through to keep the shape whilst I've got the um, the bolts in place and then the bolts in place can press that in and this is never going to move. I'm going to take these ends off these screws and just uh, tidy all that up before I put the roof card back on. I'll take the, uh, the bolts back again. Uh, the nuts were the nylon nuts again and then they were, um, you can still see the blue of the thread lock on there. The, the clouds have gone all of a sudden gray. I've only pulled the tarp back halfway, so I need to put it down quick. Got beautiful blue sky over there. We're just grayer than gray. So I've just cut some blocks to go around the front here. And I'm just gonna glue them and screw them into place. Man, it's windy today. Uh, I've got them blocks fixed in now. As you can see there, so they're following that curvature that I want. And then I've started up here. Let's get back up. So I've taken the aerial out. I've just cleaned up over here. And I'm gonna cut a support piece that can go across there. Um, somewhat on level, because I'll use that then to put a shelf up here and I'll insulate down there and on the inside. And, That'll add a lot more insulation to the cab area as well, above. So I've made a brace here that fixes between the two and I've glued that together and I've got adhesive sealant underneath it, compress it down, but also underneath here and there, I've got uh, OSB cut down to this line, wedged in, sandwiched between two lots of adhesive sealant and the same coming around the corner and back in and then I've put it over and I've flattened it all up. I've got a good seal all the way around here now um, with good compression from that OSB. shaping this up with the plane so it sits in that gap up there. Did the same with the other side.
So yeah, same on this side. Put that brace in, glued and fixed it, and then wedged in the OSB again into there, and then just packed it out with the uh, adhesive sealant. Got a good bomb. Like, so I've been cutting some noggins. Support for you. into the domes as well, so that will act as the light in the shower. Um, I think it's water resistant as well on the domes. And number three, if we're in a hot climate, or it's really hot like it has been in the UK, we can have the Max uh, sucking in, have the two Max domes pulling out, which will create this double air effect, double vortex effect, where the air will come in through the middle and then get sucked out through the front and the back. And that way, it should keep some good airflow going through the van. now really but I'm going to try and get this back done and I've, I've come up with a convoluted way of doing it I think but <laughs> the two it runs out slightly this this one to that one they run out just slightly this one's a bit further forward than that one so I'm going to mount this up here and that will give me a datum effectively because I've marked I don't think you can see, but what I've done is I've marked to the back of this line and to the post. And I'll do the same on the other side, and that line there will be the same distance out to the back, and then I can start my workings out from there. So I'm just going to mark them out and mount them up, and then I can start working out where I want things. So I've got these two mounted now, and yeah, this one's 105 to there. So that'll be directly across to this one over here. And this one to here is 95. So yeah, this one does push out a little bit more, but those two lines now are pretty much level to each other compared to the roof. And they're running the line near enough. So I can then start thinking about where I'm gonna have uh, this back section here. got that cut out it's like some kind of uh, compound mitre with a step in and then another compound mitre cut there um, but that's pretty much where it's gonna sit I need to duplicate that on the other side now wish me good luck with that one um, but that's about right there now you see that cut that had to be cut in and then so it was cut that way and cut that way 
and it's a compound mitre cut and then it had another little compound cut there as well so that's in now tonight it must be coming on for 10 now and I think that's as much as I can do for today without really annoying my neighbors they're probably already annoyed with me now I'm catching the last bit of light coming through the window here uh, my little help has already gone to bed shells made me a brew and gone to bed um, so tonight well, for, for this week's video, I would have thought that will be about it. I've only dry fixed the back cross brace. That will be the huge spoiler, as Shell calls it. Um, so as I walk around now, you can see uh, the, the front running up and over the roof and then to the back. I've still got some struts to put in and um, I've still got to work out a couple of things. That's about it for this week. Thanks very much. And if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. And uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you like the roof build and you want to see more of the van build, then please hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Shattered, absolutely shattered. Take care, see you next time. Bye for now.